So first of all, there's this. So some game, I'd never heard it, but uh, some people, somebody said it in my Discord, and then somebody said it in Twitter, oh, what would I think of this? So I'll turn it up. So let me get this straight. I'm somewhere that's not what I would call Earth. I'm seeing a freaking dragon, and oh yeah, I'm talking to a cop. Yeah, okay, that is something I do now. I do magic, kill jacked up beasts. I'll probably fly next. Right. Right, I get, I get people going like that, oh, it's kind of uh, cringy and all that. It's got that, yeah, that's something I do now. All that. So let me get this straight. I get it. I get it all. Um, why are people, why are people particularly, I feel that there's something else going on when people are criticising it. And I don't just mean, oh, it's like fucking incels and all the rest of it. I mean, um, was this, is this a game? I've never heard of this fucking game. Is this something that people have been looking forward to? Like, did, have, have people been looking forward to th this? And then they're expecting like something like Dark Souls? No? Is it just this? Is it just the way I'm experiencing it? Just like, oh. But why is that? You get, you get sort of part like that in games. I mean... Albeit fucking uh, Life is Strange, sort of slightly childish, kind of for, I don't know, 14 year olds or something. For uh, certain types of 14 year olds, anyway, that are all kind of a bit sort of nice and all that, as opposed to your your, your usual 14 year old that's, that's, that's fucking getting wrecked. This makes me want to fucking play it. Previous trailers didn't have voice acting right. Oh, I, oh, oh, let me, let me just see that. Let me just see that. That'll make it better. That'll make it, you know, make me enjoy this a lot more. Forsaken trailer. So. Wait a minute. No, that's something else. Is it Forsaken? Forspoken. Five months ago, story introduction trailer. Wait, wait. What? Has this been mass reported again? Is this another fucking thing? Right, this maybe? This? Get the fuck how? How, man? Oh, good. It is quite beautiful. Yeah, and uh, everything here wants to kill you, kind of way. But, but, but what, 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 what? March, that's like five fucking months ago. It is quite beautiful. St. Paul? Yeah, and uh, everything here wants to kill you, kind of way. You know, it's got a kind of, um, how to train your dragon, why? Good quality. You know I'm a Get on me. Get on me. Get on me. And get on me. Let's finish this. Oh, that's a spoiler for the end! You better buckle up! On a whole other dimension! I see it again. Um, so, let me get this straight. So let me get this straight. I'm somewhere that's not what I would call Earth. I'm seeing a freaking dragon, and... Oh yeah, I'm talking to a cop. 
Imagine she said fucking dragon. That would be good, wouldn't it? I'm seeing a freaking fucking dragon. dragon. And oh yeah, I'm talking to a cop. Yeah, okay, that is something I do now. I do magic. That is very Jennifer Aniston, that bit. Yeah, okay, that is something I do now. Yeah, okay, that is something I do now. You see, some people might say, oh, that's cringy, but that's what you all sound like to me. That's what all you sound like to me. All younger people all sound like to me. Even the ones that try to be all kind of fucking edgy and all that. That's what you all sound like to me. Yeah, okay, that is something I do now. I do magic, kill jacked up beasts. I'll probably fly next. Ah, you stay. I'm fucking getting that. But you know what the you know what you know what the, the downside will be the upsetting thing will be is that we will only hear that part all the way through it. I want to hear that constantly. I want there to be an option, constant part on mode. Where you hear all that part of through it. You know, like like everything if you just climb up a tree, what would that be? What would you say if you climbed up a tree? Climbing up a tree. I haven't done this since fifth grade. Oh, uh, but you know something like. Oh uh, no, branching out. No, no, just puns, puns, puns. No, no. Oh, I. I guess you could say I'm branching out. Oh, did I just say that? That would be good. Like that, it's like, ah, it's exactly, you know, too, what it's like. I'll tell you exactly what that's like. A Veritas and Badger Matrix since the subs are three quid. I showed my dad that Frasier 2.0 movie trailer and he thought it was real. I thought it was fucking real. But you're not. Good golf bag, dog bomb, thinks the subs. Thank you very much. I thought it was fucking real. Even somebody like me. Could think it's real. Uh, oh, what is this? Oh, it's that shite. Right. Um, uh, I, it, it reminds me of this. Hey guys, what I'm about to say to you may come as a little bit of a shock. So much of a shock that you may want to sit down. In fact, I think I'll sit down myself. I already am. Okay, okay. This year, on my next birthday, I will turn 40. Ouch. How did that happen? And like any guy at this halfway point of life, I'm having myself a little old midlife crisis because I'm thinking of getting a tattoo. <laughs> I just hear you all right now shouting, why? You're just like right. my mom. But I do want a tattoo. Why? It's like this. Why do they have cave paintings? Why are there artifacts from uh, Egyptian times or uh, Mayans, Incas, etc.? They made those things to say, here's who. Here's who we are, it's what represents what we're all about. And I just want to do the same. When I look back and say, here's what I was at the time. One of my friends says, do you really want a tattoo on an old folks home when you're 90? I said, yeah, that's not the problem. The problem is I don't want to have the same tattoo as the guy sitting next to me, you know, Celtic Band or- Harry Nexus or somebody. Japanese, right, right. got hair on my neck. Something unique to me. Something that represents just mm -hmm. me. Only I can have. I thought really hard got about my maybe my favorite memory. Something that's really important to me before I was 40. I looked at my skin. I looked here on my arm and thought, what do you want here that represents me? And then I realized, I already have it. I already have a tattoo that reminds me of my best memories, fondest memories, people, people that have met my life. It's my skin. Do I really need a tattoo? to remind me of all the good times. When I can just look at my arm right here and think back to the girl who touched my arm at the full moon party, Koh Phangan, 2006 in Thailand, and ask me my name. I won't tell you what happened next. <coughs> but we had some great times. 
And it's true. So I think I think the copy that make me laugh so much. I'm the funniest guy I know. Doctor Shanhattan, thanks for the sub. Thank you very much. I think it's I think it's that. See, as long as they can guarantee that part all the way through, that's it. I glad glad you liked it. The people who did like it, um, I think it was all training for. The ultimate one of them, in my opinion, and that was the Armadillo one, but I can't, I can't play that on here because it's against TOS and it's too dirty. So, you know, Bambino thinks the sub. I think it's it's probably too too dirty. Probably get reported by malicious act, bad actors. 